welcome back to my channel. So I am so excited to do this video. It's kind of been a long time coming to get my refrigerator organized. But before we dive into all of that, this video is in collaboration with my friend Hannah here on YouTube. She is an Arizona mama of two. And when I think of Hannah, I just think of like, sweet and gentle and that like Proverbs 31 woman. She keeps her home. I just love her realness and mommyhood and her content is very similar to mine. She is also doing an organization video and her video will be linked in the description bar. She's a beautiful person inside and out. So when you're done watching this one, do make sure that you click on the link in the description bar and go and check out her video for more organization inspiration. If you're coming over from Hannah's channel, Welcome, I am a mom of three, a one, two, and three year old little girls and I have a very busy life. I like to keep myself busy with lots of projects. I post videos daily and I just honestly love YouTube. I love that we can connect as a community of moms and that we can encourage and uplift each other. So with that being said, let's get started organizing the refrigerator. So I thought I would just give you a little overview of our kitchen dining room area if you've never seen it before so you know where I'm working at here. So um, this is like my coffee bar, dining room, and then the kitchen's kind of in an L shape. And this is today's project. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and just give you kind of a before and what's going on in here. I had tried to do some organizing. In fact, I love the way this refrigerator set up when this one goes out the door I would almost like to have one that has a big door like this again because there is so much space for stuff on the door which I love but it's just kind of gotten all mixed up and I don't like these containers in here I might actually use them in my freezer they're just kind of a like rubber made but they're hard to get in and out I got something to replace them you'll see in a second but I have like meat and cheese in here down here is all of my produce and then there's just things Things all mixed together. I have an X on this because that is my hard boiled eggs and then the rest um, are just my you know regular eggs but I did get something else for the hard boiled eggs as well. Oh another thing that we keep in here a lot is like sparkling water and um, I feel like it, it kind of takes up a lot of space but I got something that I think is gonna help that out as well. I'm gonna take everything out and wash it up really good but before I do that I do want to show you what I got for or the organization portion of all of this. So this kit, I actually ordered off Amazon. All of this stuff will be linked below for you guys. Um, this stuff here, I'm just gonna move it out of the way. I'll show you in a second a little bit more of that. But if you can see, it's inside all its plastic. It's kind of like a clear, hard plastic. That type of organizers, they're not always the cheapest. And so the cheapest option I found for those was to buy this kit on Amazon. So what it all comes with is like two large containers like this, two narrow ones, which I think are gonna work really great for like drinkable yogurts. And then here is my egg container for my hard boiled eggs and it has a lid so I can actually stack my other eggs on top of it or vice versa. And then this is a can um, like holder. So I'm thinking it'll work really great for our sparkling water. All of that it will do awesome to organize but I needed a couple more things. So I actually grabbed this stuff at Walmart and I will um, do my best to find the links for these that I probably will be able to. So these are going to replace the little Tupperware that I have in there right now and they're actually a lot longer like the Tupperwares only come to like about here so there's this gap behind them nothing's being put back there of course so these will be utilizing this space so much better and then on top of it I didn't realize this whenever um, I picked these up but they have dividers that go right in them so they will work really great to organize things and I just I'm really happy with how this looks and I think it's gonna work out great and then another thing I got is this little refrigerator, I should say big, it's a large refrigerator drawer and I'm hoping, hoping, hold, not holding my breath, but hoping that I can install this um, right here. Because as you can see, most everything I put in here is not really high enough to come all the way up. So like we have space here that could be used for something. So hoping that little drawer fits right there and I'm gonna go ahead and get started emptying it all out. Your 
Alright, I have my antibacterial spray sprayed over everything in there and the drawers. If you guys don't know this, with a lot of natural antibacterial sprays, you really should let them sit like 10 to 15 minutes to do their job. Um, so that's what I'm doing here. So everything else is over here. I'm kind of trying to do this all as fast as I can just because of having things out of the refrigerator, getting everything back in. So I'm going to do the inside part first and then do the door, at, like get everything back in and then go Go ahead and do the door. I kind of reconfigured the door area um, because it's getting to be summertime and I tend to buy cold brew and actually just this week Corey decided that he really likes this cold brew too so I'll probably be buying a couple bottles of it a week so that's why I left this open and then um, just some short guys up here we'll try this out I might end up moving it around again um, just some things that we use kind of often here some more jars my butter and cream cheese in here and then most all of the rest of our condiments down here up here we have the can dispenser and then I buy pretty much three containers of almond milk a week and then these are the drinkable yogurts that my husband takes in his lunch most of the time I put meats in here there's bacon underneath of this and I'm actually really excited about putting meat in this because I really feel like it's gonna help with like leakage that kind of thing where I've had some messes before um, and then I got my hard-boiled eggs in here and I can fit three three dozen above there which is perfect because this is often what we have in our refrigerator then down here I have lunch meats I didn't put any dividers in this because there's just a bunch of deli bags and then hot dogs and sausage kind of like packaged meats in here and then this is our cheese container I have sliced cheese um, block cheese and then string cheese and baby bells in here which I love these little dividers for all of that it took me a second to reread the instructions because I was in a hurry and trying to just put it together on my own once I read the instructions this is like insanely easy to install and it, it's very adjustable like even the width of it like you could really probably put this into pretty much any refrigerator and it's pretty sturdy honestly I'm very impressed with it sorry my refrigerator keeps beeping at me because the door is open so I put yogurt tubes in here hummus because it was ju it just fit well and then I went ahead and put my avocados and tomatoes in here just so that they don't get smushed in the other vegetables all right now on the bottom shelf I went ahead and put all of our fruit in here so the cutie oranges apples and then lemons and this is the half of a lemon that was cut I just stuffed it in there and then here are the girls 
Carl's drinkable yogurts and all of these things slide in and out really easily and then this little area I thought would work great for like odds and ends and leftovers um, we don't generally have a lot of leftovers we don't need a huge area for that and then down here I just did all of like our veggies and in here strawberries as well and I'm really glad to have a little bit more space down here and putting the loose fruit in this um, really helped to open this up so there is a little overview I hope this gave you guys some inspiration and like I said I left the links below for the containers also don't forget to check out Hannah's video in the description box and if you're new to my channel hit the subscribe button give this video a like and I'll see you guys in tomorrow's video <laughs> Did it and did it, 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 did it,